EMS symptoms are ruining my Disney trip. I'm experiencing the worst cramping of my life. People want to say that I don't experience PMS symptoms, but I've been cramping incredibly bad all day. And at some point, my pain tolerance went away, and it started hurting incredibly bad for the last two hours. So much so that it made me go and throw up three times. So yeah, uh, PMS symptoms are ruining my Disney trip. <sighs> ruining my Disney trip. Congratulations, you're a man throwing up. Throwing up doesn't make you a woman, and I hope you don't think that you're a woman just because you're causing a scene at Disneyland because that's kind of an offensive stereotype. You know as much as we do that in order to experience period cramps, you need to have a female anatomy. And you obviously do not have a female anatomy. You are a man. So I can't rule out that you experience cramping, but it's not period cramps, buddy. I don't know much about the side effects trans women experience, but here's some of them. Breast tenderness, feeling bloated or retaining water, increased emotional feelings, so if you're not lying about being on estrogen, you might feel bloated. Feeling bloated as a man is valid. But it doesn't mean that men know what it's like to get a period. Men cannot have a uterus or ovaries. And if you're really tired of your gut issues and always feeling bloated all the time, you should get the Colon Broom Fiber Supplement. The main component in Colon Broom's digestive supplement is psyllin husk, which is a bulk forming soluble fiber that nourishes gut bacteria and supports healthy digestion. Adding this powder to an already healthy and balanced diet can help relieve constipation, bloating, diarrhea, and related abdominal pain. What I think is fascinating about this product is how regular use might reduce hunger and long-term energy intake, and as a result, help maintain body weight. I also love that this product is gluten and sugar-free. Cullen Broom's digestive supplement is excellent for the ones who want to naturally and easily improve their gut health. All you have to do is put the delicious strawberry flavored powder in a glass of water and you're good to go. So if you want to be leaving the bathroom feeling lighter and more comfortable overall, check out Colin Broom's digestive supplement via my link colinbroom.org slash the offensive tranny to get a 65% discount and use my code Marcus Deep to get an extra 10% off. Thank you so much Colin Broom for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video. I was gonna go to an event tonight, it was like a Barbie team thing at the bar and I'm not going because I am in fact on my period and my body, like, I feel so bad. I'm experiencing the worst cramping of my life. Where are you cramping? Are you cramping in an imaginary uterus? Because if that's the case, you need to seek help. You need to get this one checked. And I'm saying that with love because if you get that checked out, you might not experience the pain. And I think this is a very easy pain to alleviate. Only women get periods and that is due to them having a uterus. I'm not even sure a uterus transplant can do that, but let's not go there because, because my mental health can't handle that that's a thing. And I know that that's what's happening because a couple of months ago I downloaded a period tracker because I kept having days that I felt like this and I kind of suspected that that's what it was. And yeah, after several months of using it, I'm pretty certain. You do not need a period tracker? Like, what is going on? I don't know if you know this, but downloading a period tracker doesn't make you a woman. And it doesn't mean that you're experiencing periods. Do you think it's a possibility that you convince yourself that you can get periods, especially when you use a specific app that only women use? How's that an argument? Where's the blood? No, I, that sounded weird. No, 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 no. The app is not proof. Your body might experience some side effects due to the estrogen and that's completely valid or it totally makes sense, but it doesn't make sense that you choose as a biological male to claim that you can get periods. It's disrespectful, it is stupid, and you sound extremely delusional. Something that's truly hurtful for the trans acceptance in society. Now people are gonna watch your videos about your delusions and think that all trans people, and especially trans women, are like this, when in reality, they're not. The majority of trans activists are like this, but they're not really trans. So not only are people like you ruining the trans acceptance in society, you're not even representing real transsexuals. So yeah, I don't care what you call it, cycle, period, whatever, but <laughs> can you tell my body not to do this to me? 
and please don't welcome me to womanhood i know that every woman deals like this i am just dealing with it right now both trans men and trans women experience mood swings when they're on cross-sex hormones and that's completely natural well it's not natural to be on cross-sex hormones but due to the hormonal imbalance in the body sometimes trans people feel a little bit moody or a little bit sad but it doesn't mean that they can relate to the functions, the biological functions of the opposite sex. When I hear trans women talk about them getting a period, I'm not sure if they're delusional, if they're lying to validate themselves as women, or if they're not that bright and they generally believe in it. Because you know what, that's fair too. You cannot help not being that bright. This is someone leaving a comment on a trans woman's TikTok page. Anyone can get stomach cramping. A whole full 28 to 30 day cycle revolves around the uterus. But um, this is his response. And you'll figure out why I'm calling him a he just in a sec. If that's true, then why do cis women who get hysterectomies still have cycles when their ovaries are in place? Oh, is it because it's based on your hormones and not your uterus? Is that what it is? Oh, 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 because the, the ovaries produce your hormones and I'm like putting them in my body through pills. So it's, it's, it's like same result, different source. Oh, oh, oh I thought you were basing your comment on science. <laughs> no, you're just basing it on bigotry. Cool. Love it. Same thing, different source. You're so respectful. I don't get why women have a problem with you. I have no clue. If you're wondering, this is why some women experience cramps even after getting the hysterectomy. A hysterectomy may lead to secondary pelvic floor muscle spasm slash hypertonia. Men and women are fundamentally different when we talk about physically, biologically. So it doesn't matter how many estrogen pills you take, you will never, ever be a woman. And here's a free tip. If you want to be perceived as a woman, maybe don't be so disrespectful to all women. These are the same people who tell me that I'm insecure about being trans, that I hate myself for being trans, when they refuse to acknowledge that they're trans and not the opposite sex. The beautiful thing about being in the transsexual space is transsexuals spend their time on trying to deal with reality, deal with the truth, we know that it's important to acknowledge reality because no one is truly happy when living a lie. And another thing that we focus on a lot within the transsexual community is learning how to coexist and not co-opt. Well, we actually don't need to learn it because we naturally don't want to disrespect men and women. What I'm talking about is we try to learn how to validate ourselves. And the conclusion is we do not feel fulfilled or happy if we pretend that we are the exact same as the opposite sex. All this talk about trans people are valid, trans people are valid, well, yeah, duh, but why don't you believe in it yourself? If trans women are women, if trans men are men, you're implying that there's something wrong with being trans. And that is on you and not society. Society keeps reminding you that you're wrong. Trans women are trans women and trans men are trans men. And you get mad you get offended. Well, honey, that's your problem. I'm over here saying that I'm not a real man. You get offended. That is on you. You have a problem with trans men since I can't identify as a trans man without you getting offended. Make it make sense, people. If you as a trans woman think that the only way you can validate yourself and your gender identity is to lie, you're not really trans in my opinion because you can actually be trans while believing in the truth at the same time. I know it's shocking, but it is possible. And I have never heard a real trans woman say, I know what it's like to get a period. I think they would actually get extremely uncomfortable if not dysphoric, if they actually claim to, to know what it's like. Because it's so obviously so disrespectful to all women. It's okay to be trans and it's okay that trans people don't know what it's like to be the opposite sex. 100%. Thank you all for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell. If you want to support my work, my PayPal is in the description down below, but no pressure whatsoever because I'm already super grateful for all of you. Remember, you can become a member of this channel. We have so much fun, so come join us. Follow me on Twitter and Rumble and I'll see you all in my next video.
Chao.